Hey guys, it is Wednesday and oh, I was up super late last night. I didn't think I'd be up late. It was a bit past midnight and I was like, you know, I'm probably gonna have to go to bed soon. My sister was streaming and she was like, oh, stay up with me. And I was like, but I'm so tired. And then I thought, eh, I'm just gonna stay up. And so I ended up being up until 6 a.m. Even my sister went to bed before that. Like she streamed for a while and then I decided to stream because she stopped streaming and I just felt awake. I guess I had a second wind and I was like, I'm gonna stay up and I'm gonna stream. So I started streaming at like 3.30 in the morning. And uh, <laughs> I streamed until six. So today I got up and then I edited the vlog and then I was just so exhausted that I went back to bed for a little bit and now we're here. I finally got up, showered, although I didn't wash my hair just cause it's the afternoon and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be washing it early tomorrow morning cause I decided I'm gonna film the work session tour tomorrow, not today, just cause I got the later start to today and like I could still do it but I was just like, I guess I was tired and now I'm energized. So I'm like, well, I could do it, but I didn't wash my hair. I don't really feel like doing a full face of makeup now. I don't know. I don't know. It's just really excuses. Like I have the freedom to push things around. So it's like, why not? Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I just put on foundation and blush because I was too lazy to do anything else. Lately, I haven't even been filling in my brows because a lot of people have been saying, oh, your brows are starting to fade. Like, are you gonna go for a touch up soon? And they actually have hardly faded at all. It's just that I haven't been filling them in because my brow pencil ran out the day I left Arizona. So I went to CVS to buy a new one, but it wasn't the right shade. And I was still working with that for a while and I even tried mixing with some other pencil, pencils that I have here when I got home, but I just, they all looked stupid and then finally I got to Superstore to pick up some new ones. Well, actually I got mine at Walmart when I was there the other day, not even Superstore. <laughs> and so I felt them in a bit yesterday, but then today again, I'm just like, mm, I almost like the lighter look, but at the same time I like them just to be like a little filled in. Plus, when it does come time for a touch up, I'm probably gonna let my brows fade significantly because I am not 100% happy with the shape and size I have. Like if I could Photoshop my brows right now and just like tweak things myself, that'd be really nice. Cause it was really hard to know at the time what would work for my face because I had pretty much no brows. They were super thin, stick straight, like low on my face. I didn't really know how they should look like I don't know, I like I just looked at it in the mirror when the lady drew them on and I was like, that looks good, I guess. Like we made some tweaks, but like, you don't really know how much you're gonna like it or what you want until you've had it on your face for a long time, I think. Like after seeing it in the mirror every day for weeks, I was like, okay, here are the things I would do differently next time. Like one, I wouldn't mind if they were just a little bit thinner I feel like this one's all right. This one's a thicker though. Uh, I definitely prefer the shape on this one more than this one because they're slightly different. This one has also always had a very thin tail. Like it's very light and almost not there, which makes it look more angled, which I don't like because like if your tail doesn't come back down, then your brows just look angry. And I feel like up close, I like them. And then when I'm far away, I'm like, I look angry. <laughs> but yeah, a little bit thinner tails lower but also the brows not so long like I feel like they're really long they go quite far out like I would like love to bring them in a bit but in order to make that type of a change they would really have to fade before I go get them redone and so I'm not sure how that process is gonna go like they last one to three years it's been like what six months or so well more than that I got it done like close to the end of October Anyway, they really haven't faded much yet, but they're gonna have to fade a lot if I want to alter the shape. So, nah. Gonna have some asparagus. I did trim the ends, but these ones are so thick that I'm tempted to trim them again, but it should be all right. So I trimmed them to fit in this container. It's like this type of container that's supposed to Make your produce last longer before it goes bad. Not for babies. I'm also cooking up a couple chicken breasts. I've cut them in half, which is why it looks like four. I feel like I always need to specify that. I'm like, I swear I'm not eating four pieces of chicken. <laughs> I 
This is one of my go-to things with chicken, is either salsa or a chicken barbecue sauce, and I'm using salsa today. And sprinkle a bit of cheese on it. This is parm. There we go, let that heat up a bit. And there we go. Simple and easy, but healthy. Now I can save these guys for tomorrow. And if you're thinking that chicken looks super dry, it is. I really dry out my chicken because I like it dry because I'm a weirdo. Thanks for the little ASMR session, Kiki. I'm going to move these plants into pots. A couple here. Um, this one's going to stay upstairs, which I think will be this round one. And then I kind of want this one in my art room. I forgot I was going to do that. So we'll see if I can find a spot for it. If not, I'll just have it up here somewhere. I don't really know what I'm doing here. So this is going to be interesting. Not much dirt came out with that, so I'm gonna put more dirt in the pot. Oops. I'm making a mess. I should be doing this outside, but it's pouring rain. I mean, I still might go for a walk because I want to go for a walk. Get him some exercise. There's one. <laughs> I think this one's going to sit right here for now beside the TV. So I decided to put this plant on the corner. Previously, I had my fake aloe plant there, but this one is much taller than that one. And so it's kind of squished over here. Like initially, I was thinking of putting it on the scanner but it just didn't fit at all. And then I had it here, but it just looked kind of funny. So I'm putting this one here instead. I mean, I could also rearrange this a bit so everything is still tallest to shortest. Then the leaves are gonna get a bit squished if I shove this in there and I can move the pencil sharpener. Yeah, I think I like that. Oh yeah, you can't get to the little aloe plant because it's in a cage. <laughs> but yeah, this guy's also going to grow. So I thought it'd be nice to just have him out on the corner like that. This way I might also get a tiny bit of that dirt smell while I'm working or I can just lean forward and... <laughs> <laughs> Baby, why? The culprit. So I decided to come to Central Park for my little walk and I just got here and it's not raining much right now. I did bring my umbrella in case it gets wet, but hopefully it's all right. It feels so empty. Where are all the buckles on this? Crap, my battery's low. I thought I changed it, but I did not. Hmm. I do have my phone as a backup, I guess, but it was only at 40% when I left. And I often forget to get clips off my phone when I do film with my phone, but at least the option's there. My legs feel so funny after getting off that thing. It feels like my hips are swinging out with every step I take, but like they're not. Just feel like my legs are going whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, my camera officially died, so we're switching to the phone. It's probably gonna look shakier, but. Okay.
like ducks. <laughs> yeah. There's quite a bit of them on the other side of the lake. Yeah. Just look how magical these little plants look right on the edge. It's so cute. And just look at this. So beautiful. Might take a couple pictures actually. My favorite little spot in the park. <laughs> Better not step in webs. <laughs> Getting rained on though by this tree. For some reason though, they ripped up a bunch of trees leading up to this little path. Like it used to be more covered, but there's a bunch of trees cut down right here. Like why? Why do you do this to me? But yeah, this keeps going in for a little bit, but I'm too spook, so I'm gonna go back. I had to bust out the umbrella because it's now raining, and I'm really creeped out. I could hear someone walking behind me, and they're getting closer and closer. And then I turned around, and there wasn't anyone there, but there was someone like way down the path, like way behind me. But I could hear the footsteps right behind me. <laughs> ah, creepy. <laughs> All right, I wandered around for quite a while and I'm gonna head back home now. I'm at Superstore now. Hmm, this is what I'm after. There was a scuff of paint on here because Kiki knocked it down once and it landed on a little plant that I had painted gold and so the gold paint scuffed up the glass. There we go. Next up is this. Yeah, those were scuff marks from your basket, baby. Oh yes, nice and clean. Well, the basket's not. I feel like today's been kind of a waste, but whatever. <laughs> I'm going to watch Netflix. I'm like, do I turn on the PS4 or the computer? I guess it can go either way. Um, yeah, I'm gonna watch that French Beauty and the Beast that's on Netflix, because Christian spotted it on there and mentioned it like a week ago, and I was like, I wanna watch it eventually and I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> Is this Beauty and the Beast or Cinderella? <laughs> Cinderella, Cinderella! <laughs> What are those dog things? Oh my god. Why? So that movie was interesting. I enjoyed it though. It was like really neat. They just didn't like the cartoon beagles. I was like, oh no, they feel like they don't really fit in. They're too cartoony, but the rest of it I liked. But anyway, Daddy's home now, and I'm going to bed. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. So I decided that I'm going to continue streaming just because I want to, and Christian works late tonight, so I'm like, why not stream? Oh, hello, he got a really poly when he's coming. Tiki, tiki, tiki. Oh, there's an ant. Eat, get him. Anyway, I was feeling guilty about the idea of streaming games because it's not a game day, but then I was reminded 